His goodness, and we thank Him for journey mercies over the airways. I thank God for the prize of the saints. Amen. When last night when we boarded the aircraft at 8 p.m. our time in Toronto, and uh, the pilot announced that it would be a very smooth ride. That's what he had expected. But no sooner, about half an hour in, in the year, the, the weather changed and there was turbulence and then he announced over the public address system for all, everyone to be seated and get your seat belts on. And, and I started to pray. Say, Lord, I'm still here. You know, it's going to be about 20 minutes of rough ride, but oh, yes. guess what happened? In about five minutes, it's smooth off. Yes. Somebody breaks. Yes. Amen. Thank God for the pride of the saints. Amen. It's just good to be back home. This is home. So, yes. Amen. Yes. It's good to be home. Thank God. Right. Amen. It's just an honor to greet our presiding bishop. Amen. Bishop Sidney Alexander Dunn, come on, let's give God thanks. Amen. I think you preached the message, maybe we can do the altar call now. Amen. And to all our pastors and elders, amen. Good to see everyone tonight. And to all of you, my father's children, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. But I was just stirred as Bishop spoke because it was just a Monday night we were dealing with, with uh, change. The Bible said, if any man be in Christ, yes. he's a new creature. Yes. Yes. And so for the last two Monday nights, I've been dealing with just that change that must take place in the life of a believer. That's true. You cannot meet God and there's not a change. Amen. Anywhere there is an impression by God, there must be an expression somewhere. Amen. And then if you meet God, there's got to be a change of your mind, of your lifestyle, of your character. Amen. If you meet God, you can't remain the same person. We're dealing with the power of the Holy Ghost there. That it is more than just shama because, because when you receive the Holy Ghost, you receive the nature of God. And, and, and when the nature of God gets on the inside of you, there's got to be a character change. God. Amen. And so we've we just been dealing with that. I'm going back next Monday to deal with the same concept because there's so many things coming into church and people are believing that that hey if, if there's an impression they don't have to be an expression come on yeah. if somebody impresses you you want to express it yeah. if somebody impresses you amen young ladies young men if a woman a young man impresses you amen if you can express it it leads to depression so that means every impression must express. If God impress you, you must express it. So you can't be the same if God impresses you. You rise up as a new creature. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things and behold. one of my shortest messages here tonight because I'm dealing with a subject that is from the book of Joshua. Amen. I'm continuing right where Bishop starts. Amen. It's, it's just a confirmation. We never talked about it and I'm just glad for the confirmation tonight. Amen. To deal with some things here. Amen. In the presence of God. Bless him, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for Mr. Wayne Brown who preceded me. Amen. He will be with us for the rest of the week. I spoke to him on today. Thank God. Joshua chapter 3 and verse number 3. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. If you find it, say amen. Just let's read together verse number 3. And they commanded the people, saying, 
when ye see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, and the priests, the Levites, bear it, then ye shall remove from your place and go after it. Amen. Amen. I want to deal with the subject for a few minutes tonight. Amen. Follow the ark. Amen. Come on. Come on. Turn to someone beside you and say, don't follow me. Follow the ark. Come on. Come on. Tell somebody else. Say, don't follow me. Follow the ark. Amen. 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 If, if you've studied, and I'm sure some of you have studied the, the, the tabernacle and the layout that God gave Moses. And as God spoke to Moses about three months after they departed out of the land of Egypt, that the Lord spoke to Moses and said, Build me a sanctuary that I may dwell among my people. And, and the Lord brought Moses up to the mountain and he gave him a picture of the true tabernacle that was rich in heaven. And, and God gave him instructions as to how the layout of that tabernacle should be. But he also warned Moses, make sure you build it according to the pattern that I showed you on the holy mountain. That means if Moses deviated from any of the instructions that God gave him, then the presence of God would not show up. Amen. Come on, come on. Amen. And so God gave him specific instruction. Now, the, the Ark of the Covenant, it is called the Ark of God. It is called the Ark of the Covenant. It is called the Ark of the Testimony. It is called the Ark of the Lord. It was the smallest piece of furniture in the tabernacle. Yet it was the most important and most powerful piece of furniture in that entire tabernacle. Without the Ark of the Covenant, God is not there. Amen. It's a social gathering of the people. When the Ark is in the midst of Israel, it suggests that God's presence is in the midst. Do you know a lot of people have lost the Ark out of their lives and they don't even know it? Come on, brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. But here now, God positioned himself with Israel. Now Israel traveled 40 years through the wilderness. Now they have reached the last barrier to walk into the promised land. And now God gave specific instruction to Joshua to communicate to the children of Israel. And for the first time in their pilgrimage to the promised land, God is now saying to the children of Israel, don't follow a man. Don't follow an elder. He's saying, follow God. Glory be to God. Because God has looked over the record. And in the wilderness, the children of Israel followed Korah and they got destroyed. In the wilderness, they followed the ten spies who brought an evil report. And an entire camp was infested with unbelief. And because they had unbelief, God wandered them in the wilderness and overturned their carcass. But now God is saying, don't follow a man. You're going to cross the last barrier. Amen. 
in us. We can't influence them. Oh, God. So guess what? I'm going to hold on to what I got. Hallelujah. I got an old time religion. I got a new old time way. Oh, God. I remember the old church. And I remember the old singing. And I remember the old songs of Zion. Anybody who know what I'm talking about? Them old time songs. Pass me not. Old gentle Savior.
that he's father, he's son, yeah. and he's a spirit. Yeah. Yeah. And so theologians just concocted yeah. about the Trinity of God. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, but when you study the Bible, the Bible called the devil the father of life. Yes. 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 And the Bible calls the devil the son of the morning. Yes. And the Bible also called the devil a spirit. Yes. So how come they don't talk about the trinity of Satan?
a subtle move of the devil influencing the church. Yes. Amen. And what we end up in today is, is a whole lot of spiritual aerobics going on. Yes. Amen. But when there is a genuine move of the anointing of God, come on, talk to me here. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Amen. When there's a genuine move of God out of your soul, no one has to tell you to say glory. When I'm in my bedroom praising God, I don't have no quiet. Oh, God, from glory. Glory to God. When I'm having worship in my bedroom, I don't need no musician. Something on the inside. Because worship is the true temperature of the soul. Glory to God. It's not something I get in church. It's the true temperature of my soul. So if you find me in my car, Oh, good God for glory. If I'm in the kitchen, I'm worshiping. Oh, good God. If I'm standing on the bus, stop, I'm worshiping. Sitting at my desk, oh, God, I'm worshiping. It's the true temperature of the soul. It doesn't come from the music. It doesn't come from a mass choir. Hallelujah. It comes from relationship with Jesus. And when you've got a relationship with Jesus, you don't even need a crown to praise God. Hallelujah. For David now said, when I come to church, I enter into his gates with thanksgiving. I enter his courts with praise. He said, I'll be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord. in seminars giving reform theology Yes. 
follow us strong and start following God. Because since you start following men, you don't have the joy. Since you start following men, you have some semantics, but you really don't have no real anointing. For if I rebuild the thing I once destroyed, I become a transgressor. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory. I don't care what school they emanated from. I don't care what university or seminary. It is not what men say now. God is saying, you follow Korah and the earth swallowed up your brothers and sisters. You listen to the ten spies and I overturn your carcass in the wilderness. They followed Absalom and the woods killed more than the sword. God said, no, I'm changing it. Look at the ark, Israel. And follow it. Follow the word. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Get them things that you start doing, get it, stop doing it. And get conformed. Christianity is real. It changes you from head all the way down. Change your mind, change your character, it change your dress. Oh God. Hallelujah. Come on, you can't come. The Holy Ghost get on the inside and it change you from your head all the way down. Hallelujah. We're gonna close tonight. Amen. Just reach your neighbor's hands. God, I thank you. I'm not following any rebellion. Somebody needs a chance. In case you fight the doctrine of the church, you're classified as rebellious. And you're under the curse of Korah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. I believe that men and women must look presentable because they're representing God as ambassadors. Glory be to God. I know some new doctrine is that it's the heart. It's not one on the outside. Well, the devil is alive. Whatever is on the inside won't show on the outside. How do you know I'm wicked if I don't kill somebody? They're going to be an expression. Come on, come on. Amen. Impression and expression. You, you got to know where in action. Amen. And everything that you see has a spirit driven to it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why the woman ought to dress modestly. Amen. Get those pants off. Oh, shine Good God from glory. Represent Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Come on, everybody shout, Follow God. Amen. I'd like to anybody come and pray tonight in the name of the Lord. Amen. But that's the word that I felt in my spirit. Amen. And when the bishop started it, I know that was a confirmation to the world that I must deliver to somebody. Because we are allowing an infiltration 
have some people who wear titles uh, to, to change you from the position that God plans it's a set up by the devil glory be to God Amen. Let no man change it. Paul writes, he said, beware of philosophers. Amen. They'll come around and they, they will give you amplification of scriptures and they will try to tell you all kind of things and try to change it because it sounds good. Amen. But you know what dawned in me as I read the other day? is that if Bishop was the Lord of Standard and he gets 10,000 people at Gibson Road, many of us would call that success. But does God call it success? Come on, talk with me. Because what we call success, God don't call it success. That's right. Come on, come on. Tonight, Hallelujah. follow God. Every time, glory. Don't destroy the foundation set up by our fathers. Hallelujah. And I must say this because it's coming to my spirit before I had to pass the word with me. Is that you notice the book of Genesis? And that's why we, we need to pray for our foundational fathers. Yes. That in the book of Genesis, that the Philistine didn't close the well until Abraham died. So you're wondering when our father is dead, is that when the devil is going to come in and close the well? If God don't raise up some men and women to stand up, come on, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Because one of the things we need to understand, a lot of people is telling us now that this thing is culture, it's, yeah. it's West Indian yeah. this, yeah. and yeah. it's yeah. Jamaican yeah. Yeah. this. Yeah. That's right. Come on, we're talking to this church here tonight. Yeah. Yeah. And they're saying, well, yeah. Bishop, don't impose upon me your Jamaican this. Yeah. I didn't get a Jamaican Holy Ghost. No. Anybody, get, anybody get a West Indian Holy Ghost? West Indian, it's not Canadian. I don't have a Canadian anointing. I don't have a British anointing. I don't have an American anointing. I have an anointing straight from heaven. Amen. So don't bring me down to culture. Because you say it's a West Indian culture. But if the thing about it is that you're trying for me to let go a culture to embrace another culture. Somebody you can't say amen. But the, the holy will say amen. Thank you, God. We're going to pray tonight. Hallelujah. Follow God. And you will not go wrong. Remember what happened to those who follow me. God bless you tonight. In the name of the Lord, we're going to pray. Who follow? I will follow Jesus.
feet, God, and our seed. You is our refuge and our strength tonight. It is you, Lord God, that has made us and that we are saved. We belong to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the good shepherd and the sheep of your pastor. You are the workmanship of thy hand. Blessed see you, God, our God, you have called us from nature's darkness to this great light. It is you that died for us, Almighty God. You came and snatched us at the branch of the earth. It is you that justified us and sacrificed us. It is you, Lord, that put your spirit within us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank So we come tonight to give thanks unto you. We come tonight to give you praise, to give you honor and glory. Knowing that thou art worthy tonight, for all praise and all blessings that we can give unto thee. Hear us tonight from the heavens above. Glory. Oh God, Almighty, and be your children. Yes, as we humble ourselves tonight before yes, you. As we surrender all to thee tonight. Yes, as we lay all on the altar before you. Yes, In the name of Jesus. Glory. Father, we pray that you give us direction. Glory. Lead us all the way, Almighty God. Glory. Gentle down the stream of time. Yes, so great Jehovah and build you us through this paradise. We are weak, but thou art mighty. Hold us with thy powerful hand. Bless and save and hear us tonight. We thank you for speaking to our hearts. We thank you for remembering us to the Savior. We thank you for sending us a word tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Remember your servant tonight. The vessel that you have used to bring forth your word. Continue to anoint him for service. In the name of Jesus, may your blessing be upon him continually. Oh, Almighty God, we praise thee. Our pastor in our midst tonight. We pray for him, Almighty God. Strengthen and keep him in the name of Jesus. Elder the power and Mother Powell tonight. And all your ministering servants. Every brother, every sister tonight. From the least to the greatest tonight. To the youngest, come in under your blood and sin. Shake all those hands, watch it over their soul. In the name of Jesus, as we are about to go from this sanctuary, Father, we pray that you go with us tonight. In the name of Jesus, fly the top of the enemy, protect us from accidents and danger, protect us from other road users tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your will, Almighty God, that the saints be back in this sanctuary tomorrow night. We pray that you keep them until then. Bless us as we go, Almighty Savior. Cover us under your blood continually. Help us to be watchful and to be vigilant. Help us to be sober. Help us, Lord Jesus, to walk as children of the day and as children of light. Not to walk in darkness. Know that you are coming soon. Help us to keep our eyes upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear us as we pray tonight. In the unmentioned mercies, we pray that you bring them unto us. We ask these mercies for Jesus' sake and in Jesus' name. Let the church say amen. Church say amen.